This is Twit. All right, so Abby wrote in and first off says, I would just like to say, Ron, be nice to Victor. And this is the best Abby, email ever already. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. There's a long history in all about Android of me giving our our loyal TD a hard time. It goes all the way back to Chad. Yeah. So is, there's a long legacy. For a while, fan, uh, audience members got very upset at me about how, how me and Brian would tease each other. And so I hope you realize that I do it out of love and Victor's the best. So there you go. Um, that said, Abi actually had a, a legit question. I uh, said, but really, I was wondering if Android has any sort of built-in emergency SOS feature that would let you quickly call 911 without unlocking the phone and sends out messages to your emergency contacts similar to the iPhone. My wife recently found this feature on her iPhone, and I'm glad she has it. She would like me to set up something for this as well, but I won't touch an iPhone with a 10-foot pole. We are an Android slash iPhone divided house. <laughs> me too, Abi. I, I can relate. Um, I use a Moto Z Force 2. Um, so this is, I mean, I, I gotta give iPhone credit. I mean, having, I was glad that Android has the emergency contact, emergency information access outside of, uh, your passcode, right? So if something, God forbid, ever happens to you and you pass out on the street and someone needs to get your information, they don't need to be able to unlock your phone to get to your emergency info. By the way, if you haven't done that yet, go to settings and fill that out. Fill out your name, your emergency contact information, all stuff like that, because that is so key. But as far as sending a um, uh, uh, like a, a, an emergency alert or something like that, I've never heard of anything that is. Jason, have you ever heard of it? Or so, well, I did some digging around to see Android itself, it, like in the base OS, doesn't have this feature by default. Probably should. It seems like a really good feature to have yeah. in there. Um, Motorola, since he's talking about, since Abby actually, he or she is talking about, uh, the Moto Z Force 2, there, there's an app by Motorola that hasn't been updated since 2015 called Motorola Alert. <laughs> That's because it's so good. They 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 perfected it. It's perfect. Three years ago. Yeah, yeah. There's no need to change the uh, the hamburger uh, style of the menu up at the top left hand corner. Anyways, uh, it sends out a constant stream of your location to selected contacts. So it's not quite the same. You activate it and then it just kind of broadcasts your location. Google actually has an app like this uh, called uh, what is it? Emergency? Uh, no, sorry. Trusted contacts that continually shares your location. Uh, with contacts, contacts that you set up prior, they can also request the tracking if they think that you might be in trouble. And if you don't respond in like five minutes, it sends them your location. So there are ways to do that. For Motorola specifically, I couldn't find anything in settings. I did find that LG had a feature similar to this emergency SOS function, um, I but I don't have an LG phone to check if it's still on there. Samsung also apparently has this in Galaxy devices. If you go to settings, personal, privacy, and emergency, and then send SOS messages, you can... Um, you can pre-select contacts, and then it will send an emergency alert, uh, things like location, uh, a photo that's taken on the front and the rear-facing camera, a uh, snippet of, of short audio recorded from the microphone. So that's actually a really nice implementation because it does all this stuff and gives it to whoever you set it up in advance for. But I'm not sure about Motorola. Ryan, anything come to, to mind for you? Have you seen this feature on any phones? Um. So, well, the Motorola app, apparently, it doesn't, it, it's not compatible with anything anymore. So, oh, okay. So, it, it's, so dead. It's, it's dead. It's dead on the vine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't um, even do it. So, yeah, I know, I know Samsung has that feature built in. There's nothing that I'm aware of in, in base Android. And, um, yeah, I mean, the Google trusted contacts thing is probably your best bet, but it doesn't really do quite what the, what the emailer was asking. It would be nice if this were something built into, into base Android, but I mean, hopefully something that is not too easy to trigger. I mean, I, I know people who have accidentally called 911 on their Apple watch because like, I think you just hold, if you just hold the crown button down for long enough, it calls 911, I think. Oh, that's and that seems genius. like maybe it's a little too easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, it would be, it'd be nice. And maybe even if it's something that's not on by default, um, it should just be something that exists. Yeah, I think uh, like on the Samsung implementation and the LG implementation, both of them, you had to press the power button three quick times. So you had to go doot, 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 and that would send it. But there too, it's very possible that in your pocket that happens and then you suddenly call 911. Or or send a message to your emergency. Yeah, I mean it's different if you're yes. just if you're sending a, like a message to a trusted contact. Totally. If that fires accidentally, it's not as big of a deal as if you you know you call the police in your pocket and yeah. they don't know what's going on. <laughs> right, and suddenly there they are. Um, and then I know that there are third party apps that do this. I just I haven't tested any of them. I haven't played with any of them, so it's really hard yeah, to. I mean, I would one. be hesitant to trust a, a third party app to 
do something that important. Yeah, something safety related. You got to really know that they're, you know, that it's going to work in a pinch because a lot of times these things seem like a great idea. And then when you really need it, it doesn't work. It crashes on you. And yep. I, I think that would be the wrong time for an app uh, to for crash. Sure. But seriously, if you haven't gone into the settings and put your emergency contact information, do it. I implore you because this is I, I, even even if you can't send an auto thing like Abby, what Abby's asking for, at least have some level of uh, emergency info in your phone. My God. Emergency so. information. So this is my emergency information screen. Apparently, I don't have a contact or information. Oh, Jason, come so, on, man. All right. Well, then I'll find I'll do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Um, yeah. No, I don't have anything in there. I'm, I'm all <laughs> unknown. Thank you, you gotta, Ron. You got to do it. You got to do it. Yeah. I mean. I mean, sadly, un unfortunately, from experience, uh, a few months ago, uh, I worked with someone who had something happen to them and uh, couldn't get into their phone because didn't know the lock code and didn't have any emergency contact information, and it was a bad scene. So if we have the ability to do it, you know, Dang. and and, and uh, emergency responders now know to look for it, and Android has it, so fill it all out. Ah, that's a really good pointer.